Hi, welcome to Planet Darby. Today I am going to use some basic sticker books, mostly black, and pull from the Live Love Posh's Hello Fall sticker book. And I'm going to make my classic vertical planning planner. This is where I plan all things planner and the social media account um, and YouTube videos slowly but surely. I'm gonna start out with just laying down some florals that I did pull earlier just to save some time. I kind of have an idea where I want them, so we'll do that to start. Next up is the washi. I go through several, and I just can't find the one that looks right. Everything's see-through or it's too busy. And then I find the one that looks like Frankenstein stitches. I go with that and continue on with the florals. But I keep looking over at the pink. It looks like Pepto-Bismol to me. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna scrap it. But first, I realize I put the wrong florals down in the left corner. So I swap those out, luckily without tearing. That's a victory. And we gotta take victories where we get them, right? All right, I'm gonna start plugging in some more washi. And yes, they do look like stitches the more I look at them. I like them. Okay, so now I have to decide if I want the spider web corner all the way over flush with the page or if I want to move it over and just have it in the Monday Tuesday column I like it better along the left side but I think I'm gonna do right here because it'll allow for a longer column on the left one thing I always like to do is cover up the month with something that adds to the photo or the layout so I go with this just simple black floral and I'll probably letter a pink October later. Let's get this spider web corner down. Aren't these beautiful? Jessica really, really, really aced it on this. No wonder everybody's using them. To give you an idea of the end game that I'm aiming for, it's a kind of spread like this. It features two bullet points a day. These are like the goals for social media posts. Doesn't always happen, but they're there and planned. And then I have other lists throughout the planner. I am going to try to find some boxes, just some simple boxes to pull from a couple different sticker books, and I will use them in various ways on the spread. This one is the Functionally Chic from Live Love Posh, but I'm not quite sure yet how I want to do this. I can't figure out what I want to do with that far left column. I tend to favor horizontal boxes practically because it gives me more space to write, but of course you lose um, the real estate of more than one column. So I found a couple of these just simple black boxes that I'm going to use, and then I have Isha's plans, bullet points that I will use. I'm trying to decide if I want to throw in pink boxes. I've decided I think I'm going to stick to just black. I think it will let the pink florals pop. Speaking of pink, I am going to use these Artistro paint pens. I was sent them for an honest review and I've fallen in love with them. I'm going to cover up the dates above, which are yellow right now. Totally doesn't go with the scheme, right? So these acrylic pens can go on rocks, wood, stickers, you name it. You have to shake them and then they just cover the color that's already there which makes it a lot easier than a normal pen which would just kind of blend with the color so give me a couple and I'm going to turn these yellow bad boys pink and just so you can see that a little closer it really changes the look of the whole page and it's totally possible to do with any color. All right, so let's get these bullet points put down. Sometimes I use tweezers, sometimes I don't. Always, they are never lined up perfectly, so forgive me on that. I've also decided to take it up a little notch that you might not even see from there. I'm outlining the black bullets with the paint pen in pink. It's, yeah, it's not very noticeable from afar, but it looks pretty in person, I swear. Can you kind of see it? And now let's start adding some boxes. I know that Wednesday is a big day for me to hit the ground running. I usually do a lot of planning that day. 
it helps me set up for the rest of the week and weekend, but enables me to have the Tuesday, which I also have daycare. Um, I use Tuesday mostly for my photography business. I think I'm going to use one of these geometric boxes from Isha and put them someplace. I, actually, I think I'm going to divide the far left column. That way it almost creates different sections while still not taking up a ton of space on the actual week. So I could maybe even use this as my list of extra post ideas that I can throw in when needed. So the way I try to kind of figure is that every day I am going to do, I need space for social media and then I need a couple spaces for the tasks for that day. But then a couple of times during the week, I like having an additional box that I can pull out for things like lettering ideas for that week or pop-ups. Um, in this case, this box is going to be perfect across the bottom if I can ever get it to lay down straight. It needs a little pizzazz though off to that right side. So I think I'm gonna cut one of these florals from Live Love Posh and plug that puppy in. Yes, I like it already. It kind of fills in that space because I already have space, two boxes above it to use for lists. Never mind. I think I'm going to add a quote just to break up that space for lists. Spooky vibes quote comes from the Hello Fall book from Live Love Posh. So to be honest, when I first started planning, I was like, why would anybody ever need to add a checklist with a stencil? And now I totally get it. So I'm going to use, it's the actual Happy Planner bullet, or what are they called? Line it up stencils. I have recently found that my inner gel cleanup pens do not hold up as well under highlighters. I mean, I've always known that, but I've recently found that the Sharpie S gels do great. So I am going to use that for the list. So that way, if I do highlight something, it's not going to smear. It is the only pen that I've found that actually does a good job with this. So I had difficulty finding a box that would stretch that would be wide enough to stretch over two columns. So I'm just gonna make my own. It's way too much work to do it this way, but here we are doing it anyway. I'm just gonna use an index card and some washi, and then I will adhere it to the page as just as if it was a sticker. I'm not gonna lie, this is not very easy to do. It takes a lot more time than probably I should spend on it, but it's what I do when I'm not next to my computer. And now it's just a matter of where to place it. Again, I'm just trying to figure out what makes sense for my checklists versus the decorations or just a sticker that is a box that I can um, further write my lists in. I am going with the stencil I did choose to do a friction pen on this and I'll go over it later if this is where I want to keep it. Frictions are amazing because they are erasable and they actually are fun to write with. So if you need an erasable, just don't leave it on any pages that might be out in the heat because it will remove the ink. Supposedly you can put it back in the freezer and it will come back. All right, so I think I'm going to put the box here that way it gives me a little bit of room on the right, but also on the left. Now I'm on the search for maybe a square box, like an actual square. And hmm, I think I'll put it here. I just got to make sure I have such a problem with committing when it's not an obvious choice. So next up, I want to letter a quote that has a Halloween theme to it. I couldn't find many quotes that serve this purpose. So I'm going to make my own. Not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but I want it to go right here. I finally settle on the witch is N because it's the truth. <laughs> anyway, I just quickly 
letter it. I will admit I did two other quotes first and this one was my favorite. So this is what you're going to be seeing to condense the time. I do my own kiss cutting here, folks. I now want to bring in a little bit more decorative element to help tie in my big old box. The quote is kind of bothering me though. It looks a little nakey. I don't want a naked witch on my layout, sorry. So I'm just gonna use the other part of these florals that I cut and dagnap it. Gotta pull it off the paper. I did it without tearing again, yay! The witch is happy. All right, so I have these little simple boxes from Isha's Plans. I'm gonna plug those in here. And uh, my last box I'm gonna put over in this corner. If you're not familiar with my layouts and how I stickerize things, I like white space, but I do not favor white space. So sometimes white space bugs me. In this case, I wanted to fill that side with washi tape, and then I also needed a small little quote to tie in the decorative element with where I will be writing. So we're going with fabulous. Puns are my jam. So the spider webs need to also be somewhere on this right side, otherwise the other one will look a little out of place. But yeah, I kind of like it. All right, now I wanna find something that says October. I went to back to this sticker book and it's black and it would be black on black. I think I need a little bit of spice. So I once again use my Artistro paint pen, acrylic paint pen, to change it to pink. And I put it in its place and yes, it looks so much better than the black would have. Just a little pop to tie in with also the dates. All right, that's pretty much it. I like the way it turned out. I do think I might change this column over here and add something. But other than that, thank you so much for joining me on Planet Darby. And now let's get out of here.